Hi, my name is Sukmini Dillon. I am currently a grade 11 student who attends St. Thomas of Villanova College in King City, Ontario, Canada. The following demonstration conducted by myself is the Rainbow Density Tower Experiment. The following materials will be required in order to be successful during this experiment. 5 cups, 7.5 tablespoons of water or 112.5 milliliters in total, measuring cups for, su for sugar, specifically 2 tablespoons, 1 teaspoon, 1 and a half teaspoon, and 1 quarter teaspoon. So the first thing I did was spread the five cups out and put each of the labels on them. By the end of it, I had the labels of one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sugar, one half teaspoon of sugar, one quarter teaspoon of sugar, and no sugar. The reason behind all of these labels was to make it easier to differentiate what liquid would go into the, the glass first. Once that was done, I added the appropriate amount of sugar or no sugar in each of the glasses. So this is the measuring utensil I used to add the correct amount of water in each cup. The specific utensil was one and a half tablespoons. Over here, you could see me adding one and a half tablespoons of water to each cup. And then in order to dissolve the sugar and the water, I got a spoon to mix it thoroughly. Next, I added the food coloring in each of the cups. In the second cup, I added two drops of yellow and one of red to create more of an orange tone. I then mixed the food coloring once again to make sure all was dissolved. After, I used a plastic syringe to squeeze the liquids into the thin test tube. Starting with the most dense, the liquid with the most amount of sugar, which was the blue one, I got the syringe and got some liquid to pour in the glass. Followed by the blue, I added the green, the yellow, the orange, and then the red. As you can see, the rainbow tower was created as the liquid with the most amount of sugar went to the bottom, followed by the liquid with no sugar resting at the top of the glass. This is what the glass looked like at the end, displaying each of the five colors. So what could be seen here? As we know it, density is the measurement of how much stuff is packed into a measured space. That is how the equation density equals mass divided by volume is created. By increasing the amount of sugar in each solution while keeping the water constant, you will have created explications that have increasing solutions. As you add sugar to the water, more and more sugar molecules take the available space between water molecules, making the solution much more dense. Thus, at the end, a solution with a lower density will stack on top of a mixture with a higher density. This sugar rainbow density experiment is a creative and engaging way to see how liquids of different densities stack on top of each other, leading all to an awesome science experiment about density.